Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Well, there's just so many aspects of the definition of the flesh being worked out and experienced through life. And Romans 8 says that the flesh is sense and reason without the Holy Spirit. And I, I can I can just picture so many instances in my own life that are not the same. I mean I mean that is worked out in a multitude of different facets. It comes out of us in a multitude of different facets in a multitude of different ways. And it's something that is is uh, worked out every every day in some in some way but is worked out primarily by choice, isn't it? It is a choice. That, um, and, and what Martha delivered in this message was, that was part of the hope that it is, I do have the choice and I can make, just like Paul did when he said, I, I determined to know nothing but Christ and Christ alone. And I know for me, just in the last week or so, um, one of the aspects of being in the flesh and the death that, that that flesh brings is to limit the Holy Spirit by my own opinion of myself. And it was a huge, huge blow and um, piercing reality that I very well could have missed my whole destiny by, I'm going to say simply, it's not simple, but by simply worshiping my own opinion of myself and my place in this body over what the Holy Spirit says about me, his opinion, his call, his view, and limiting, not just limiting, but killing that by my own um, pitiful, scrawny opinion of myself. Actually, what God did was to reveal to Carol a much bigger purpose than she would have ever dreamed for herself. And how uh, it was really shocking a little bit to hear it, wasn't it, Carol? It was, but Carol is one who underestimates herself a lot. Carol's one of the most capable women I've ever known, and she uh, always, you always think a little bit less of you than that. And uh, is that okay? Yeah. With that? And and God knows God has big plans for her. Glorious. I know the plans I have for you to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope in a future. And He kind of revealed it. And there's a whole lot of. Uh, little structures that kind of t tinkled and went down and broke, didn't they, Carol? Yeah. And and uh, it's, he, what he has for all of us is just so staggering. It's all, always beyond our imagination, beyond what we can think. We think we know who we are. I'll tell you who I am. I, I know who. No, we don't. We don't have a clue. And we think, honestly, Martha, and you, you go into this, because we think we think we know. We think that's okay. I'm ashamed to say that. But we, we think it's the truth. We think it's the truth, and we think it's okay to think that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to to have. Uh, we do it to each other. It's having little labels and little limitations that, you know, my limitations are nothing. To him, their their limitations are real, but I don't. I can't be defined by that because he doesn't. He doesn't. He goes way past our limitations, and he doesn't. Your capability is a capability to hear and to obey with passion, and uh, whatever other capabilities he's going to require, he'll have to give. I think it's awesome. 
what we've been through. Well, and going along with that, with soul versus spirit, you, you just, you realize, I mean, first of all, this is, this is such a huge, this is all of life. <laughs> And you said it's kind of daunting. You're talking in the middle and you were like, so every conversation, every, you know, every phone call, every, uh, every situation that you have that is in any way interacting with someone else, either you are in the flesh or you're in the spirit. So either you're a purveyor, you know, of the flesh and of death, or you're a living vessel for for Jesus Christ you know the spirit and to to look at that very closely is it's horrifying in its scope I think and I think that uh, is why you know that was something you addressed at the beginning and that is what has always been so heavy about that topic and so it's so easy to take this huge responsibility on your shoulders, you know, because it is, it's not nothing. It's not a piddling little thing. It is matters of life and death. It is, you know, wh who am I carrying and what am I carrying to people? Is it blessing or curse? Is it life or death? Is it God or Satan? It's, you know, it's so big. But it's it's that very thing when he when he breaks through in one aspect, whatever it is, and brings life where formerly we've we've been operating in the flesh. And there are times you could be operating in the flesh and you're going to be held accountable for it. So on some level, you know it. But as you were saying, Carol, there are certain things that have to be undone in us to the extent that to do them, you know, his ways are not my ways. To, so to move from my ways into his ways, in the perfect training, in the perfect uh, confrontation, however the Holy Spirit does it, to, to break us completely free of these strongholds that we're in, it can sometimes feel wrong to do it his way. I don't know if that makes any sense. When Carol, when you were saying it didn't feel unnatural to you at all, it felt even right for you to hold these lesser opinions of yourself. It felt true. Lesser and limited. But I'm no, I'm no stranger to that. And there's, there's a place in that where that feels like you're being realistic. That feels like you're being honest. That feels like you're being unsparing. That you're not flattering yourself. That you're not puffing yourself up. That you're seeing yourself as you really are in all reality. Does that make any sense? Okay, so it's it's that kind of that that that's what you know feels right. So to come around at the other end of it, and there are times when Martha or John or even you, Carol, have have come to me and have said something that I know wasn't flattery. You're not flatterers. I know it was an encouragement from the Lord, and it felt wrong for me to experience joy at that because I had so convinced myself that any sort of joy on that end of the spectrum had to be pride, had to be arrogance, had to be, see, when I'm, when I'm keeping myself and I've determined it's my ways. And so to have my ways upended and to be moved into his ways or to put another way, to take me out of the flesh and put me in the spirit. There is a, a disconcerting, a dis, discombobulance that can happen, that it can literally feel wrong. <laughs> exactly. It's too good to be true. So somewhere I'm cutting a corner. I'm not doing, if I'm not doing it the hard way, if I'm not weeping and moaning and rubbing ash into my hair the whole way, then it must not be real. And, and um, I think the part of this message I found so hopeful is that it's it's another battering ram against that that presumption in my thinking that that presumption that says now now don't throw me out because you know there there's some truth here there's some reality here you know 
There are a lot of things that you're not. Remember that. There are a lot of things that they're... But that's not how God deals with me, and that's not how you would deal with a child. Would you deal with a child, and the first thing you say to them in the morning is, well, you're awfully short. <laughs> you're incredibly short. You, you don't enunciate. In fact, half of what you say is gibberish. But come have your cereal. You know, we'll see what we can do with the rest of the day, you short gibbon monkey who can't enunciate. We don't talk to children that way. We don't, you know what I mean? We don't do that. And yet I talk to myself that way and somehow, you know, like, like that's, it's not God. It is absolutely the flesh. It is absolutely soulish. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at Shulamite.com where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from GetAlongWithGod.com and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At Shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.